Hey guys, G with Mr. Dog Academy. How are you? Checking in with Mr. Lobo today. Um, today is Lobo's first session on the prong collar. So we've been working on slip, slip, uh, slip leash pressure uh, for the past couple of a few days. Um, if you don't know what a slip lead is, this is a slip lead. Okay, it's just a leash with a loop at the end. So what you do is you slip this loop over the dog's head and cinch it down. So this is leash pressure. This is one of the first things that we do um, introducing the dog to the leash pressure. They're leashed, they're leashed from the crate to the door, to, to potty or out to the walks or anywhere in the house. So we're literally communicating with them at every moment of the day with the slip leash pressure. So we're here, um, we use the slip lead in the first couple of days to introduce the dog to the idea of pressure on, which is what happens when the leash is tense and pressure off which is what happens when the leash is relaxed, okay? So when the leash is tense, okay, that's communicating to our dog that we don't like something or we don't want something, okay? Um, and this is what a lot of dog owners mess up with. They, they allow the puppy to grow up um, completely ignoring leash pressure. And leash pressure communication in a 12-week-old puppy is so valuable. And a lot of people allow their dogs, their puppies to grow up uh, desensitized to leash pressure. So this is why we use tools to, to bring it back down to, to, to black and white. So a slip leash is a tool, just like your regular leash, just like a flat buckle collar. These are all tools. They're there to help. All right. So um, we are now introducing him to the prong collar. Lobo is already wearing a prong collar. So come on. So we're just using, he already understands a lot of these things because we've been working on it for the past few days. Um, the idea of pressure on and pressure off. So when we're teaching leash pressure communication, leash pressure communication is universal, which means it applies in, in all in different environments. The same rules apply in, in all sorts of different environments. So this is where you can be consistent in your expectations. No, no matter where it is that you go, okay? So Lobo is now understanding that Leash pressure up, so I'm gonna hold pressure up. Okay, I'm not I'm not pulling, I'm not yanking. I'm gonna give you guys a clear review here. So leash pressure up means park your little butt down. Yes, good boy. And his reward marker is yes. And then so it's the yes is my verbal marker, my verbal it's like a verbal clicker. Okay, a lot of people use a clicker. I have my voice. I can carry my voice anywhere I go. Okay, so. Good boy. Sit. Yes, good. And we use this a lot because not all dogs will listen to a command when distractions are at play, are in play. So this is why we use the leash to communicate what we want and what we don't want. So leash pressure down. Okay, I'm gonna step on the leash right here. I'm gonna back up a little bit. Okay, so leash pressure down. I've got leash, I'm applying pressure on it. Downward pressure, I'm not dragging the dog down, I'm not yanking the dog down. All I'm doing is I'm applying steady pressure to the dog, and he's got to figure out how to turn it off. So we've been doing this already with the slip lead. He already knows this. He already knows how to lure, follow the lure into a down. Yes, good boy. So it just makes it a whole lot easier to uh, to to acclimate the dog to the prong collar when he already understands the basics of leash communication because we've been doing the work, we've been introducing it to him with the slip lead. So the prong collar is there to make it a little pretty clear and a lot more precise what we want and what we don't want because once we step outside, we become, we're in competition with everything, with the birds and the bees and the grass and all the smells and, and, and yeah, all the smells. Come on. So leash pressure up means sit. Yes, good. So when I'm rewarding him, I'm marking with yes. And I'm also using my motion and the movement of my body to draw him to me. And also to, to, to amp him up a little bit more, okay? To get him really excited. Um, it's sort of a double whammy. We call it loading the marker. Um, we're, we're adding, we basically condition the dog to think that anytime he hears yes, he immediately comes looking for something. Yes, good boy. So the three marker words that you're gonna to hear today is yes, no, and good. 
three marker words. Yes, no, and good. Yes is instant reward, instant marking of the behavior. So if I'm teaching him something new, like sit, yes, it's instantly reward with a marker. Now we have what we, uh, now we also have the bridge marker, which is, in other words, our duration marker. If I wanna tell him to do something and hold a position or hold a command, the good is what does that for me. So again, I'm gonna use a sit, good. And when I mark with a good, I feed at his face, in position. When I'm ready to release him, yes. I release him with a yes or an okay, whatever it is. Again, I'm gonna try this again. Leash pressure up. Yes, good boy. Yes. Good. All right, leash pressure down. Drop the leash. Foot on the leash. Apply pressure downwards. Yes, good. Yeah, good boy. So this is his kibble, guys. This is his food. This is how he earns his breakfast and his dinner every day. Yeah. Yes, good boy. We'll literally just play this game because it's really what it is. It's engagement. It's it's some fun with him. Um, we literally play this game for his whole meal until I finish his meal. Or if I want to go halfway through, I do half and half where like I feed half of his meal through training and then let him finish the rest. Sit. Nope. Nope. Okay, so I gave a command the first time. He didn't perform, and so I'm gonna mark it. Nope. Nope. Yes, good boy. All right, so we're done. This is a short, keep these sessions nice and short. We're gonna go ahead and let him finish the rest of his food. To, and then he's gonna go outside, grab some water, do some uh, potty a little bit. Then we're gonna put him away for about 15 minutes and then bring him back out for another session. So always keep in mind that puppies, we gotta work the dog where they're at. Don't push too soon, don't try to move too soon. Um, we gotta work them at the current skill level. So I'm going to put his food bowl down. Nope. Good. Yes, eat. And make him ask for permission to eat. Eat. Good job. That's it, it's Mr. Lobo.